Hey there, it's me, the Moon Mama. How y'all doing today? I just thought I would come in because I am, I am very aware of all of the stuff that we have going on in the world right now. And I also know that the astrology is giving us an opportunity to look at life in a whole new way. Hi, Divine. And um, hi, Jade. And one of the things that I'm extraordinarily aware of is that the construct is coming down. Hi, hi James. The construct that we're currently living in is totally rapidly coming undone. We are seeing and experiencing something that is never seen and experienced by people in our lifetime. And it's in the astrology that way. When you talk about the astrology and the transits and all of these things that we're going through, this stuff has never happened before in many, many years, um, like lifetimes. And it's so important, it's so important for us to begin to recognize um, that this is an energy-based system. This is a totally an energetic-based system that is run by our thoughts and feelings. The challenge is that we grew up in this Western culture that has us believing that it's run by money, that it's run by people who have power, that it's run by government. That's the way we project our energy out. We project that energy and we give them the power. We give it to them by voting. We give it to them by our money. We give it to them by sending our children to school. We give it to them by using the hospitals and the doctors that truly are not educated in the way of healing, but actually are educated in the way of making money. Um, we give it to them by you know, being detached, like by not growing our own food, by not understanding you know, what season it is and what foods work best for this season and what, what are the things that we should do to honor this season. We truly give our power over to people who don't deserve our power or who can actually use it in ways that would benefit us. And so um, one of the things that I'm aware of, because I've studied history, like I've studied, I've studied American history back and forth. And and I've studied it so that I can understand the game that's here, so that I can understand what's really going on here. And really, it truly is, America is a system that siphons the energy of all people, but especially black people, especially black people. And so what happens is, as, as the energy is changing on the planet and the energy is changing on the planet, let me tell you, I talk to women at least two or three a day who are having incredible awakenings, realizing that they're cosmic beings, opening into their intuition, opening into their creative gifts, opening into the reality that they are connected to everything. I talk to men this way as well, who are realizing that what we've been doing and what we've been pursuing is obsolete and doesn't really have any value. This is not something that is a new thing. Like a lot of people are waking up. And what has to happen when people are waking up? Someone will get killed because they want to keep us scared. They want to keep us distracted. They want to keep us outside of our power and feeling like, you know, we're not safe. We're under threat and all of that stuff. And that generates a thought pattern that then generates an experience. So I'm saying I'm just here to say that if black people would stop participating consciously in this system, if black people would stop voting, and I know people, oh, oh my God, but the law, we don't need the laws. We don't need we don't need any of that. We are divine. When I tell you, if you unplug your energy from the construct that's dis that's dying, that's coming undone, if you unplug your energy from this construct slowly, because it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to undo what you've been told is accurate and right and conditioned in and the money, the taxes, the day, the all that. It's not uneasy. It's not easy to undo that stuff. But you can slowly begin to 
Come into a new way of being. That's why I follow the moon and follow astrology because that's cosmic law. That's cosmic cycles. And when you do that, you align to this other way of being where your safety is never under threat. I'm not worried about fucking COVID-19 because I'm in alignment with nature. I'm not worried about a cop or any of that because the divine frequencies that are in and around me are putting me where I'm supposed to be and who I'm supposed to be with safely all of the time. We are divine beings. We are giants among men, but we're asleep. We're totally asleep. We don't understand that the sun is generating its energy and our the melanin in our bodies is absorbing it and 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 totally creating this construct. We don't understand because we've been so fucking dumbed down by this system, by this social conditioning and social society that now we're doing this social fucking distancing. But we don't understand that reality, that the nature of who we are is wholeness, is abundance, is divine, is God, goddess. That's who we are simply, simply by the notion of, here's the thing that I'm so aware of. The more oppressed you are is the, most, is the more power you have. So if you are a very oppressed person, if you are somebody with black skin and you come through oppression, it is because you have power and you are experiencing oppression because you've not activated your power. This sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but it is the truth. In order for black people to experience the truth of who we are here, you will need to evolve. You will need to, you will need to evolve your consciousness out of this chaotic, crazy, dysfunctional system of lies that go against nature. It goes against natural law. You've got to detach yourself from it and understand that you are not made in the way it's like, it sounds crazy to say, I feel silly saying it. I do. I feel silly saying, it. but why would this country teach black people who they really are? Why would they do What would be the benefit of this country and this system teaching us who we are? What would, how would they benefit from it? They would not. So of course we continue to allow ourselves to be conditioned by the system of white superiority, which is actually out of order. White people are not superior in the least at all. They cannot even be out in the sun without burning. And that's no fault of theirs. I'm not trying to say that as as a as a as a reprimand. I'm it's the, just it's the truth. It's just a fact. So why would we take their education, their wisdom as ours? It's not the same. It's not the same. If you study people from Asia, right? People in Asia eat a certain way. And you, and you study and you go like, oh, these people in Asia, they eat this certain way. They've been eating a certain way for years. And they, they have the most people who have lived beyond 100 because they, they eat and they live in a way that's nourishing to them, nourishing to their constitution, nourishing to their ways of being. And it's ancient. But here in America, we're not doing anything that encourages our ancient practices that would nourish our minds, our souls, our spirits. Black people are spiritual people by nature. By nature, we need spirituality. We need nature. Everyone does, but black people, we die without it. We actually turn against ourselves without it because we are connect. The universe is always sending us signals. It's always telling us, here's what to do. Here's what to be. With the trees are talking to us, the butterfly. When I'm walking down the street, butterflies, butterflies fly into me. They don't fly away from me. They actually fly into me. <laughs> and so it's so important for us to really tap into the core of who we are and begin to ask the deeper questions and stop trying to be like fucking white people. It literally is like an elephant trying to be like an ant 
or an ant trying to be like an elephant. The two just don't go together. We are not them and they are not us. This pursuit of money and pursuit of things and pursuit of, oh, I want to be in love. That's some European bullshit that has no real value to what it means to be a human being on earth. It doesn't mean that it's not a part of the experience, but it's not the fullness of who you are. The only thing you need to know as a black person is who is God in your life? What is God for you and through you and as you? That's the question you should be asking yourself every day. And if you do, it will revolutionize your life. To be putting up with this bullshit is ridiculous. It is our fault that we are putting up with it. We want to be mad. They did this and they did. They're doing they're, they're, they are reflecting to us our self-hatred. They are reflecting to us our self-hatred. And how do you know you hate yourself? Because you're pursuing things that are not for you. They are giving us a mirror of how much we hate, deny, and resist the truth of who we are. And we continue to go back again and again. We send our children to the schools. We don't speak up. We are, we just acclimate ourselves to systems. And I get it. I get it. I do it too. But it's enough. It's over. This construct is done. This election is bullshit. It doesn't matter if Trump is the, is the president or Biden. It doesn't matter which one of them it is. It doesn't matter. It's the system. The system in and of itself is completely against black people. There is nothing about any system here. The legal system, the education system, the medical system, the, you know, the religious system. What are the systems? All of the systems are designed. The prison system, every system in this nation is designed to extract the energy and wellness out of black people. Every single one of them. And yet we still participate. And yet we still think, oh, I'm a, we got to vote. We got to vote. We got to vote. Really? For what? What has voting gotten us so far? I'm not saying don't vote, but understand what you're participating in. Understand that you are giving, voting is like giving away money and expecting something in return, but you're not going to get anything because it doesn't change. Because every system, every system in the country is designed to harm black people. Every single one. And we do it. We participate. We want a different result. So whiteness in and of itself, the identity is an identity of insanity. Because it's born and structured around lies of superiority. And like I said, white people are not superior in the least. And the fact that we as black people continue to adhere to it and continue to participate in it, to pursue, I want to get rich, I want money, you know, I need this, I need... When I tell you, when I started realizing that God loved me so much as me, through me, for me, because of me. I was like, I'm not going to chase money anymore. Do you know that money comes to me every day? We don't understand how connected we are intuitively. I can think a thought. I can think a thought and something will show up. But I've had to train myself to come outside of this lying system to stop participating in the lies and in the beliefs. There's nothing to fear except that we keep buying into the stuff. We buy into it. We participate. We fuel it with our energy. We fuel it with our minds, our thoughts, our ways of being. And then we expect for something to be different. How can it be different? The system is designed to harm us. And so if you want to get free, if you're tired of watching people be murdered, if you're tired of watching people be shot down and strangled, wake yourself up. Wake yourself up. Wake yourself up. Wake up. Ask who you are. Ask, ask the deeper question. Who am I? What am I doing here in this country? Why was I born in this country? What am I here to do? Ask the deeper question. Yes, they're scary. These questions are fucking scary. But I'm telling you, there's no other way to get free except to take responsibility for how you're participating. 
You don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. And white people can't help you know who you are. They can't touch it. It's important to understand. You know, it's like this, like an elephant can reach to the top of a tree or a giraffe, right? A giraffe can reach to the top of the tree and get the fruit. It can see what's at the top, but an ant cannot. An ant has to eat the fruit that falls on the ground that is de as, that's decaying. Nothing is wrong with either. They both have value, but they're not the fucking same. <laughs> they're not the same. You would not expect a giraffe to do what an ant can do. And black people are in the education. It's like, a, it's like an ant educating a giraffe. It only has the perspective that the ant has. The ant can only say, oh, I crawl around all day and I have all these ants with me and we go in and out and that's what you, but a giraffe cannot even do that. So then the giraffe tries to do what the ant is doing and doesn't have any success. That's what black people are to white people. White people cannot teach us anything except what we're not, except what we shouldn't do. And that's okay. But we need to begin to teach ourselves who we are. Look at the cosmos. You're going to find who you are in the cosmos. You're going to find who you are inside of yourself. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom of God? It is inside of you. But to continue to look outside of yourself and to, to, to try to get money and try to get... That's some old white shit. It's bullshit. That's not who you're here to be. That's not who you're here to be. We don't need policing. We don't need systems and governments to tell us how to be and what to do. You can find that for yourself. You don't need a president to support you. This is why I love Trump, because he is making really clear that the presidency has power that it should not have. We've given our power over. We've stopped. We don't know how to heal ourselves. We don't know what medicines to take from nature. We don't understand how nature works. We don't understand the cycles. We don't know shit about this planetary system that we're in. We know fucking nothing. And then we get angry when somebody gets murdered or something. When we And understanding that we created it. They're reflecting our self-hatred. They're reflecting our self-hatred to us. If you want to stop hating yourself, if you want to stop seeing images of your hatred towards yourself, then do something loving. Go ask yourself a deeper question. Who am I? What am I doing here? Why am I here? What should I do here? Who should I be with? What's, the, what's my purpose of my life? Ask yourself a deeper question so that you can, just the asking is an act of love. The asking is an act of love. Can you imagine if somebody came to you every day and said, what do you need today? You would feel loved by them. Go to yourself every day and ask you, what do you need? Take loving actions towards yourself. Listen to yourself. Maybe your parents didn't listen to you. Maybe your teachers didn't listen to you. Go ask deeper questions. That's it. So um, the moon is in Leo today. And it's in opposition to Saturn and Aquarius. And we are having a karmic experience. We're having an identity crisis. We're having a huge identity crisis. And um, the identity crisis is to discover who you are. I know who I am. And here's what I say about that. I know that I'm made in the image and likeness of God because that's all, that's the only thing that's true. We're all made in the image and likeness of God. What does that mean? It means I'm a creator. I'm a creator. Oh, that means that I'm, a, well, how am I a creator? I'm a woman. I can have children. I can create babies, but my mind, my energy, how is it that I'm a creator? My energy is infused with the electromagnetic field of the universe. My thoughts are feeding a frequency into the electromagnetic field, which will then bring back to me the very thing that I think. I am a creator. I'm made in the image and likeness of God. 
So you gotta get to know who you are. And when you understand that you're a creator, you'll stop feeding your mind shit that makes creations that you don't desire, that don't feel alignment with your joy and your, your happiness and your power. I don't do that anymore because I get it now. And it's not been easy, but it's been worth it. So find ways to stand in your power. Find ways to know who you are. Seek out people who are awakened and evolved and spend time with them. And recognize, recognize this system is coming down. This election, you know, we very well could end up in a civil war here in this country. That's not, that, that's not something that's, that would be surprising. It's, you know, the energy is so hot right now. But if we can, if we just, if black people, like white people need black people to wake up. We, everybody needs black people to wake up. We need black people to wake up because the sky is falling and the only ones who can really shift it are the people who are cosmically connected to the environment to stop thinking oppressed thoughts stop telling the stories that whitey is out to get you or that white people stop they're just doing what we're giving them power to do they're only doing what we've empowered them to do you vote for them you pay taxes to them that's giving them power you're giving them power okay yes you know imprison my their children to, you know, educate my children with things that are not true. Um, yes, you know, create legislation that's going to imprison me. We're giving them power. We're doing it. And then we get mad that they do with it what we give them the opportunity to do. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Stupidest shit in the world. All right. Peace and blessings, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Hmm. Share the video. Maybe. Or maybe not. Okay. Bye.